Well, good afternoon. It's Monday. Um, it's about quarter past three. I've come here straight from work. Um, drove past the petrol station down the road with the uh, petrol light flashing. Um, not sure if I'm going to make it back there, but I didn't want to uh, smell my hands up or waste any time, even though I've come over with a barrel and left my bait in the car. So any time saved, I wasted. <laughs> but hey ho. <clears throat> so, yep, back here on the pond with no name, I've got one on the island um, during the warmer months, that's the banker rod, um, tight to the island on the point, you've got two lots of traffic coming from each side of the island and that's the, that's the banker rod, um, obviously they're not moving around as much as they will be when it does warm up but there's a rod on that. I've got my middle rod on the baited spot which I picked up the uh, first fish yesterday and then my left hand rods cast out to oblivion. Um, all three rods, little spread of bait, nothing too crazy. So, see what happens. I've got my uh, camera pointed at the rods just in case we can uh, get a take on film. Wishful thinking, eh? But, um, yeah, i got about three hours. Hopefully the rain stays off. It was meant to be raining all afternoon, but um, about 12 o'clock the sun come, sun's come out and it's, it's held off, so. Yeah, I have trickled a little bit of bait um, around that Canadian again. More of a future plan that is. So I don't think the fish are down this end, even though it's on the back of the wind. Um, certainly with the fish that I picked up yesterday. Confirming that, so. Over the next week or so, once the temperatures start rising, which they already have. Um, hopefully the fish will start drifting into the shallower water to pick up a bit of sun and uh, get that spot going a bit, but you never know. At least if I keep a, I'm, you know, I'm talking 10 baits, if I'll keep that going in and then while I'm there, if there's any activity, I'll Hopefully pick up on it. So at the minute it's eagle eyes. Rods on spots that have done fish. So Go on, buds. Well, Monday's coming to an end, um, as you can see. That's dry. They've not moved. <laughs> and the barrow's half loaded. Um, losing daylight now. A bit ambitious this time of year with uh, three hours to play with, but I've just put should have shown you with a marker really. Um, in between the tallest tree and the tree on the left at, I don't know, 80 yards, I've just spawned out a kilo of boilie crumb. I've got a rod on it at the minute. Um, I'll be targeting that tomorrow. So I'm gonna wind in now. Might just give it another 10 minutes, you never know. Um, if not, I'll see you Tuesday. Well, happy Wednesday, everyone. Um, just got here, just sorting the kit out, barrel, and um, and it's hailing. <laughs> There's a big fat rainbow behind the trees, which is uh, I'm going to take it as a good luck sign. Might fish into the dark a bit today. 
weather depending. I, I think it's going to be dry once these uh, little showers pass. But yeah, no need for a brolly. Just got my sling covering my kit on the barrel, which is protected by the trees a bit as well. And obviously none of this matters if it gets wet, so I'm just in the process of putting all three rods out over that boily crumb that I put out yesterday. So it's 55 turns of the reel, one in line with the big tree, one in the middle and one to the left. Um, tied a few rigs up last night, tied up some uh, high vis, stiff hinge rigs and also some uh, contrast combi links. I think I'll start off with the stiff hinge rigs just because the uh, the visual aspect but if I'm struggling in a couple of hours I may change them to the bottom because obviously the stiff hinge rig does deter some fish um, obviously I'm after the bigger ones but this time of year anything's welcome so I'll start off with them anyway and play it by ear uh, big black clouds going now Independence Day Rainbow's mad. Yep. Blue skies coming through, so I'll get the rods out and I'll be back with you shortly. Just quickly, this is what's going out. So I've got a flying bat lead, um, that's a figure of eight loop to loop onto the lead core and the bead. Just sits above that knot. So, foot and a half of lead core. Uh, one and a half ounce coated lead and I've just covered that in some uh, mole hill so hopefully that'll give a bit of a column of uh, fresh earth and then I've got probably a one foot hook link stiff hinge white contrast in a little tipper so I've got three of these going out different tips on each camera don't want to focus on it but so all three rods are clipped up 55 turns um, so I'll get these sent out so that's the rods out just chilling on my uh, barrow budder you seen it here first <laughs> nice to have the sun out I think if they're not already, they're going to start shifting up to this uh, this end of the lake soon. So it's shallower up this end, and it's the end that gets all the sun, particularly the uh, first bay when you come into the lake. I've had a walk round. There's nothing, no signs. Could well be there, but. I've had two fish from out in the open water. Well, three takes. And there's about three kilo of bait gone out over the last week now. A kilo yesterday. About half a kilo Monday. Sorry, Sunday. So I think uh, all rods went out. Bang on first time. Soft drop on all three of them. Yeah, I think I'll uh, sit on it for the next couple of hours. Hopefully, something will materialise. So it's mad. Ev Everything says that the fish will be up here. Back of the wind, closest to the sun. Undoubtedly the warmer side of the lake, but just don't think it's been warm enough for long enough to draw them out of the deeper water yet. 
as soon as I see the first sign of a fish over here, that's it, I'll, I'll move. Well, good morning, it's now Saturday. Um, the weekday evenings didn't pay off. I think I did uh, three in the end. I think I did Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, might have only been a Tuesday, Monday, uh, Monday, Tuesday actually. <laughs> I'm losing track. But yeah, uh, never paid off. Um, three hour sessions, end of Feb. You never know. Um, so yeah, it's Saturday morning. I'm only here for the day. I've got uh, my dad's 60th birthday tonight. So looking forward to that, seeing the family and a few friends and having a few drinks. So yeah, I'm on the... Well, from where I was fishing last time, I'm on the right hand side bank as you were looking out from the peg that I was fishing. Um, I've got two rods around the area of where I'd been previously baiting. Um, obviously a different line laying angle, it's almost an underarm cast from up here. Um, and then I've seen a few bubbles and a bit of activity on the water. I wouldn't uh, put money on it that it's carp, but my left hand rod I've just dropped amongst that. Um, all three rods uh, on stiff hinge rigs, same as last time, with a handful of baits around each one. So it is absolutely glorious today. I think I'll be taking this off again in a minute. I got here just as the sun was really waking up and it was still a bit of a nip in the air, but I'm sweating. So yeah, March the 1st. I think we've been let off lightly this year with the winter. Not suffered uh, any of the lakes that I fish being frozen over, so Happy days and hopefully we're out of it now. Um, what day was it? Friday? No, Thursday. Um, yeah, the reason why I didn't come down here Thursday, a friend called me, he's um, leasing a lake. Uh, I'd say it's probably twice the size of this. Um, similar stamper fish. There's a few more twenties and there's nine different twenties that come out last year. All up to like 26. So, half decent fish. Um, I mean, it's a real nice looking lake. I've, I've known the lake up my whole life. You can see it from the canal, but never, uh, never fished it. So, from April the 1st, I'm a member on there as well, which is nice. And it's actually closer to my house than this. And this is 15 minutes away from my house. So, really fortunate. Um, Another good thing about that lake is at the minute it's gin clear, so once that weed comes up in there and it is weedy water, that's going to be unbelievable for spotting fish. It's got depths of up to 20 foot, some really shallow bays, loads of nooks and crannies, loads of snags, um, and it's not a bowl, it's, it's almost like a number eight, the shape of the lake. So I'll be doing some blogging from over there later on in the year. Um...
it's literally a handful of baits. I'm moving these rods quite regular. Well, as you can see, everything's uh, pretty much loaded. Wait a minute, there's a rod missing. <laughs> Off the point of the island in about four foot of water, maybe three foot, which uh, certainly means they're moving around in the shallows now. And in my net. Well, how's that for turn up for the books? Um, couple of bleeps and that were it and I weren't convinced that anything was on and then when I lifted into it I brought in half a tree um, which was on the back lead and it weren't till about halfway that I felt it kick and I was like alright oh, okay there's a fish on um, so I've got it close enough to the bank to deal with all the branches which the line was wrapped around and obviously if the fish had charged off whilst that was on the line it could have uh, quite easily cut the line so I managed to get rid of the the foliage first and then uh, deal with the fish and land it so happy days I was hoping to finish the blog with the fish so mission accomplished slightly smaller than anticipated 15 pound 10 but A reasonable fish for here. First fish of uh, March. Yeah, once, once that uh, branch was off, it held quite deep. Gonna be over. And there you go. Crazy scales, we'll call this one. <laughs> Thank you. Put my faith back in fishing after a week of uh, nothing. Spin him round. Quick look on this side. Couple of leeches on it. I've dealt with that. There you go. Better side. Better scales on that side. Let's get a couple of pictures and uh, get it back. Team catch and release on the fish. Okay, so she's gone back. I'm off home to get cleaned up and then I'm out for my dad's birthday for a few drinks so I'll uh, put that rod away first got bloody wet sling and net and mat now but I'd rather that than a dry one so happy days thanks for watching and I'll see you next